Now, a former commander of Operation Delta Safe, Rear Admiral Suleiman Apochi, says crude oil theft is carried out through the collaboration of operators of the oil well, security agents, and sponsors of the Nefarious Act. At the resumed investigative hearing, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abbas Tajuddin, said the country lost $10 billion to crude oil theft in seven months. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Disa reports. The speaker, represented by the deputy, says crude oil theft contributes to the current economic crisis in the country. I wonder how a government that loses about $10 billion in seven months could be expected to meet up with its responsibilities for the citizens. So when the people cry, on the streets is because they have lost hope in the oil and gas sector. Lawmakers say it is in their nation's interest that lasting solution is found to pipeline vandalism and crude oil theft. The theft is categorized into onshore losses involving sabotage of pipelines and installations for local markets and offshore losses perpetrated by organized criminal syndicates for international bias. At the technical session, the retired officer told the Special Committee on Crude Oil Theft and Revenue Losses that there is no way crude oil can get stolen from the nation's export pipeline without the collaboration of the three groups. He says nobody will attempt to take crude from the pipeline when there is flow of crude because the pressure through the lines is enough to kill. I was saddled with the responsibility of the command I did my evaluations and I identified my targets, the criminals themselves who were perpetrating illegality, the members of the armed forces who were conniving with the criminals to perpetrate illegalities. On its part, the Department of State Services calls on the National Assembly to strengthen existing laws and ensure perpetrators are brought to justice promptly. Some of the countermeasures currently in place include one, identification of all forms of siphoning aids, such as ICs, that is illegal connections, IRs, that is illegal refineries, and clamps. The former commander of Operation Delta Safe says the only way crude oil theft can be brought to an end is to ensure that there are no sacred cows. Jokia TVC News, Abuja.